hello everybody welcome to another video in this video I'm gonna show how to make this kind of animations using uh, Python uh, actually I use uh, many in Python many uh, in order to produce this kind of uh, beautiful graphs so today I'm gonna show you what to install and how to create this kind of animation and any other animation very beautiful ones uh, at this point I'm just uh, teaching you how to install and uh, what you have what you have to have in your computer in order to do that let's start first you need to have a Python in your computer if you don't have it you just go to this website here python.org download and from downloads you can download right away for your Windows the last version and uh, you can go and uh, see other versions and uh, for different type of uh, systems you can you can use it so let's uh, do it right now I just download it uh, after you have your stem download you just run it or open it install now and remember to add path to python as i already have it you just gonna uh, regularly just do uh, click next and next and next and nothing else uh, just remember to add python to path and uh, this is your first step when you're done with that the next option so let me cancel this because i already have it then you need to have latex in your computer in order to do that go to the mictex.org downloads and from there the first thing you can see there's an installer here uh, which is for windows 64 if you want for another version if your windows is different you have to go to all downloads and then uh, net installer for 32 bit or 64 bit uh, if you have uh, this one works for you if it does for me and just I download that so keep it and uh, it's gonna download right here okay I have it downloaded right here and then I'm just rest, uh, right click and then run as administrator and just a little bit wait to accept next in a user or user next and then keep the default one and this is the best one actually and then uh, next mm, I have this uh, folder in my computer already so that's why it's uh, giving me an error message so you just go to next and then install that one okay and uh, when you are done with that we have one more thing to do at least one more thing uh, it's uh, right here we have to download FFM page uh, build uh, go to this website right here and then uh, you can download version which uh, match with your system for me is uh, windows 64 i just download that so i have downloaded a zip file just unzip it here after you unzip it you just change the name and then copy and paste to right here uh, in, your, in your C directory and go inside you, you, you shouldn't change you, you should not change anything inside this folder go to the bin and then copy this address you have to add this address to uh, to path 
go down to your windows and uh, type here environment and you have to edit the system environment variable so you know how how I get there you click on there the environment variable go to path edit path new and copy paste here and then OK I already have it you see so I'm just not doing anything here cancel you just gonna do OK 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 and you are done with this part then go to this website in order to do download socks source 4 gnet project source. download that okay after you download it go to the folder go to the folder where it's downloaded run at administrator next and choose And choose only the C and then install as I already have it, so I'm not completing the installation. Okay, it's installed. And what we need to do, we need to copy this address and copy it to paste it into the uh, path actually here and go to environment variable find the path edit and near and copy it right here i believe i already have it yes right here so i'm not just adding it you guys add it and then press okay okay and then you are done finally we need to go to many website and it in many website you have to go to right here and then download zip right here it's downloaded for me and then unzip it Okay, just copy this folder and paste in your in this C directory. I already have it paste menu menu master this value and then <clears throat> if you go in uh, you're gonna see the requirement. These are the requirements that uh, you need to have in your uh, computer. Mm, what you can do with using pip install in your uh, Python, you can uh, install all of them one by one, or you can do something else and download and uh, install them quickly with just uh, using terminal so in order to install them uh, quickly and automatically uh, just go to the directory you have your menu and open your terminal And then <coughs> type Python mpip install R requirements. So this uh, should uh, install all the requirement we want. However, it maybe didn't don't uh, give you some error when it goes to PyCairo uh, or other things. So it's better to just delete this and uh, 
move pi chiro to the end so in case it's not this thing you you can have it you know installing manually later just run it i have already installed almost all of them yeah as you can see for me all are satisfied so i don't need to do anything with it but if your pi chiro is not working well you just uh, go and uh, do it manually which i can show it now so if your pi chiro is not working well so what you need to do go to this website right here okay and then find pi chiro here click on it and then from there you can find which one uh, works for you 64 or 32 and uh, it gives you the the python version also here uh, i'm gonna select like this one right here and downloaded it Cairo is downloaded it downloaded and just copy it here so open your terminal right here and then just type python mpip install Cairo and use tab to autocomplete and then if you enter it will be installed we are done with this part uh, what i need to do i need to go to my menu master let's cmd so i have my terminal open so i'm gonna type python m many okay you're gonna go for example scene yes, ma'am. this example scene here you see copy this here or just type it example scene pi and if you run this okay it's gonna give you different uh, options each one will create you different videos where these are coming from i'm going to show you right now so if you open this example uh, scene with like these names in your terminal where Name are in your terminal, uh, in fact, are the name of your class for each scene, like warp in alphabetically. There, write, warp, update, and uh, each one creates you new uh, video. If you do that and uh, just uh, select uh, the number you want, it should create you a video. Let's try it now so let's do it uh, which one wrap a square h enter and let's create me the video so it's saved uh this way your video gonna save to your media right here if you go in and then to the video you're gonna find it but let's do in another way that uh, it's gonna show you uh, exactly right here it's gonna like uh, pop up and then it was so I, I wrote what I had before and rather than like choosing the which one i'm just gonna write it here i want warp square right warp square 
Man is PL. If you do that, it's gonna play it for you. Yeah. When this happens and it works, means you have installed everything correctly. Again, this video will be saved in the, your video new folder, video folder, media folder. Thank you very much. If you have any question that I believe you will, because this sometimes doesn't work very well, and uh, please leave a comment and I will try to respond to them. Thank you very much and have a good day.